or to disconnect service, press three. If you have already... T-Mobile billed me and tampered my account. T-Mobile, para español, marque asterisco. It was like, I only had a little money in there. <clears throat> I didn't get that. So look, if you have a T-Mobile number. I'm billing. I didn't get that. You can say new service, order status, find a T-Mobile store, mobile internet, T-Mobile money, or start over if you have a T-Mobile number. Uh, order status. Excluding the letter S, R, or E. What's your order number? Or say, I don't have it. I don't have it. I'll get you right over to an expert who can help. We care about your experience. So, we may record this call. Oh. Hi, it's Michelle sitting here in T-Mobile. My name is Anna, one of the experts. How can I help you? Hi, Anna. My name is Tequila Oliver. And I'm calling because I um, was billed when the account was canceled. Oh. Sorry to hear that you've been billed, even though the account was already canceled. Um, but no worries, let me go ahead and check your account. Okay. Um, would you mind <clears throat> providing the phone number or account number, please, so that I can check? Um, is there any way you would be able to look it up with my social? Here's the reason why. I'm in the process of sure. moving. Okay, great. Because I'm moving and I don't have any of the paperwork on me. Um, my social is 280-82-8883. Let me repeat correctly if I'm wrong. Is it 280-828-883? Correct. Thank you. Can I have your name? Can I have the name of the account? Yes, Tequila Oliver. Thank you. I just wanted to verify Tequila. Is this from, um, are you moving on to Sprint or what carrier, if I may ask? Um, no, I'm not moving on to Sprint. I um, am relocating and I was told that you guys don't offer the gateway where I'm at, where I'm going. Hopefully you can double check that though for me. Oh. I just wanted to verify if this for a sprint account, this is for postpaid or prepaid. Oh no no no, it's for a home internet. The home internet. T Mobile home internet. Can I have your oh sorry. Yeah, can I have your zip code please? Four four three zero one. And can I have the pin or passcode, please? Eight two one four. Is it four or six digits? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, is it eight two one four? Yes, eight two one four one nine. Oh, sorry, eight two one four one nine. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> Sorry, would you like to repeat the social number, please? Yes, two eight zero eight two eight 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 three. Okay. Because when I try 
trying to pull up an account using your social number. Um, I pulled up an account, um, which is under Sprint. That's why I'm asking if this is for Sprint, this is for T-Mobile. Yes, um, Sprint is also um, covered or it's also um, also T-Mobile, but we have a specific department. So I just wanted to clarify if this is for the Sprint account. No, it's um it's an actual T Mobile account. Um and it's for home internet, not cell phone service. Okay, so I did not pull up an account right here under our postpaid account, but just wanted to clarify this is only for home internet. That's right. Um, let me see. Hold on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find um, this old reference because it might have a mobile number that would make it easier for you to access that account. Um, order confirmation. Found in data details. Okay, um, let's see, view order, um, can you look up an order number, would that help? Sure. Okay, yeah, sure. okay, I have 510, 119-883-114. No problem. Oh, I have the phone number too. <laughs> but you, you already have you're in the account, right? Yes, I have the account right here in the account number. Um I need the pinner passcode. Did you remember setting up the pinner passcode? Yes. Um is it four digits or six? Um, four to fifteen digits, but at least um, I think it's 8214. 8214. Let me try. Oh, you mentioned earlier 82148 nine. 82149. 8214. Oh, one nine, I'm sorry. Yes. So I pull up the account using the inner passcode, the 82149. Okay. All right. I have the account for the home internet, but I don't see this is canceled. Am I correct? It's right, right. So look, this is what happened. I um, predated it. I postdated it to be canceled, and I've sent back the gateway. Um, is it showing that the gateway was received on your end? I'm sorry. You did not use the gateway. You did not use the service. Oh no, I used um the gateway. I returned it in September. September this year. September. Yes, September this year. September or October. It might have been October. Return labels October 22nd. 
Um, it just built me for normal service, fifty dollars. October, so you should not be getting the last bill because it was already returned, right? That's correct. Um, I was billed yesterday on the 21st of November, and that's the bill that I should not have gotten. Okay, so if you just give me my little $50 back, <laughs> we'll be fine. I don't fine. see any, any balance on the account. Mm -hmm. But let me go home and check. <clears throat> yeah, there wouldn't okay. be... There um, wouldn't be a balance on the account because I was billed yesterday, which makes it a zero balance. The thing is, it oh, just... Oh, so you are an auto-pay. Mm. Sorry to cut you off. Um, that, that's okay. No, I was going to say, um, the thing about that bill, that um, payment that was made yesterday, is I should not have been charged because I had already returned the gateway and canceled the service. So I, I, I just checked that you have an auto pay on the account. So it's automatically deducted yesterday, am I right? You're correct. Yes. Is it deducted through your bank account ending 3489? 3489, correct. Okay. All right. So here's something that I'm going to do. I'm going to refund the $50 to your bank ending 3489. And um, the refund will process two to three business days, okay? Okay. Correct, fifty dollars. I'm um, sure. what I want to talk to you about also. Um, I want to see if you have have the um, service like 
the last time I checked, you didn't have a tower in the area that I'm going to. Can you check for availability? Um, the zip code is way yes. when did you get it <laughs> that's great news like that's really really great news because when I like I said when um I spoke with them in October you guys didn't have it there Yeah, and that's kind of is. <laughs> that's exactly what the rep told me. She said, "You know, we're putting up more towers every day," and I was like, "Okay, I'll just check back." Okay, so. so uh, sorry, oh no no no! You go. You first. Go ahead. gateway like if I order it today can we make it so that it doesn't arrive until like the end of the first week of December is, is there is there is there any way to do that because the thing is I'm still in Akron Ohio and I won't get there until the first of December so I don't want it to arrive if I'm not there and you guys are really quick for example today's the 24th like Realistically, I could have it by the 26th. And I just, because. So that would be on the first week of December. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, no, that's okay. And so I was saying, like, with you guys being so quick, I just wanted to make sure it didn't beat me there. You understand? Like, yeah, I don't. So, what do you think I should do? Yeah, it's fine. We can do that as well for, um, like, a future date. That you will be um, getting the gateway. Yes. Like the second week of December or first week of December. Well, can we do like um to give you a specific date? Like the first of December would be absolutely yeah. fine. Oh I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say my address, so I'm gonna step in the other room. So they put my purse in my car. You know, I never leave it in my car. So I go outside. Okay, 
Um, I would like for it to be sent. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I said, okay, perfect. Um, I would like for it to be sent like the first week of December. So like December 1st or the 2nd of December would be fine. Yes. What day does that fall on? Let me see something. That's a Friday, correct? Um, if we send it on the 30th, which is a Wednesday, I should I could probably have it by Friday, right? Okay, let's do the 30th of November. Yes, please. And let me ask you, how will this work? Like, um, once I get it, will I have to activate it? Yes, you need to activate or turn it off. I'm turning on and you see that's right at the bottom. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, and how will my how will this affect my bill? Like, will I still have the same bill cycle or a new bill cycle? Okay. Okay, so look, when I would go out to my car, they had, they had Kelly and her daughter sitting in her car waiting for me to come out. That's the type of stuff they do. They'll sit there and they'll wait on me. Okay? And like I said, they'll plant something like my personal car so that I'll have to go to it. And this is not even got what I need of it in here. So I gotta go back to my car anyhow. Um, but it's. Okay, and let me ask you, will it be the same um, home internet service, like it'll be unlimited 5G? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay.
Sam Cooke. If T-Mobile got a tower there now, and they're servicing that area, Verizon should be too. I put in a request at both <laughs> online for that zip code, and I'm like, I hope Verizon got one because there's a cheaper in which I can call back and cancel this order. Okay, no problem. You can always download the T-Mobile app today in the Apple or Google Play Store. Each T-Mobile customer has their own team of experts, including you. That means you speak to real people, not a robot. They're experts. Hey, where did the chat box go? Thank you. Just answer the question.
He kissed me when we're playing a kissing game. I just want to know if it's available. I had to take pictures of the scratches on my car. Hi, I'm Elon. Are you still here? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, sorry about the hold, but thank you very much for patiently holding. I'm Rep right here, and you know what a rank on specialist on um, sales department. They already mentioned what happened, and she will be the one to assist you farther, okay? Okay, thank you. You're very much welcome. And thank you, Tulatina. You have a great shift. You both have a point too, okay? Oh, Bye for now. Bye-bye. Hi, Tequila. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. And uh, before um, before we go further, can you please provide me the new address where you want to put the home internet gateway tower on, under your new address? Yes, yes. Yes, Tequila Oliver, the number one nine eight four at iCloud.com. They did something to my forehead. Sorry, Tequila Oliver. Nine one. One nine. One nine. At iCloud.com. Yes, ma'am. Uh, one hundred gigabyte internet light one is available. One hundred fifty gigabyte internet light plan is also available. So for one hundred gigabyte, it's fifty dollars every month. 150 is 75 dollars and 200 gigabyte internet lifespan is 100 dollars so which one do you like um let me ask you this if i went with the 100 gig could i still be on the waiting list for unlimited yes ma'am yes ma'am you are you're still available for them so once it's available you can um uh, process a uh, return and exchange so that you can appeal of the unlimited now. Oh, let me ask you this. Are the gateways different? Yes, they are different. Oh, I see. Okay, um, I'm going to say the... How long does it take to get to me? Like two to three business days? 
Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is can we close the existing account that I have? And when I get where I'm going, I'll call and set up a new one. Oh, so you will not uh, set up the 100 gig yet? Is that what you mean? Yes. Okay, um, and so all I need to do when I get where, like, is, are you ordering it now or? No, ma'am, I'm not yet ordering. Would oh. you like me to place an order already? No, thank you. Um, so I just want to make sure I'm trying to do an overview of what we just did. Um, so we're canceling the existing account, correct? Yes, ma'am. And... I'll be able to open a new account with no problem um, for the hundred yes, for the hundred gigs when I I'm get there. there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. So, is there anything else prior to this one that I can uh, that I need to help you out before I let you go? Um, no, I just want to make sure I'm on that waiting list for unlimited because I really need it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, once again, it's been my place. You're welcome, ma'am. It's Tequila, and I hope to catch you on the last time that we're both. You're ready for the 100 gigabytes. And have a wonderful day, ma'am. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness. So I'm chatting with Verizon. I'm on a call. Because the reps on here, they keep disappearing. Welcome to the Verizon. Give them all the information they ask for. Para español, oprime la estrella. Like, right away. Please enter the mobile number you're calling about. If you don't know the mobile number, press pound. Calling about personal service, press 1. For business service, 2. For new service, to upgrade or add a new device, or to purchase a Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance and security, to train our employees and citizens, and to personalize your experience. Thank you for calling Verizon Wireless. Our office is currently closed. You can visit our website at verizonwireless.com or call back during normal business hours. Yes, Thank you. Okay. Let's see what he says. If he finally answers me. Um, are not currently available at my address, but I can't I'm not the first to know if it becomes available. Ain't that about a bitch?
Well, at least I got a backup plan. Check this out. The nearest library is 26 miles away. Um, so that's about 30, 40 minute drive. And you know, I'll live at the library. And um, I have to prepare all this stuff for the, the, um, the lawsuits. So I'm like, I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe I'll just go twice a week to the library. But me having the internet at home helps because as long as I can get everything set up and functioning, I, I'll be able to print too. Um, so I'll, I'll have everything I need to do what I need to do. But yeah, when I looked at how <laughs> far it was, like, and it's weird because the only other places they have listed as public libraries it's kind of weird is inside high schools and I, I doubt there's that that's correct like I just can't yeah, but maybe that is how it is I don't know um so 26 miles and I was like okay twice a week um I'm trying to think how far that one in the other direction was. You know, it's weird because that's really the only place it has like, there's nothing like a library, okay? Like, there is nothing like a library. You absolutely fucking need them, you gotta have them. Um, can't think of anything else what I was about to say um, I have some things to do in my planner and I have some stuff in some shopping carts <laughs> I found a couple of purses I need them I actually need them um, and I refrain from getting the shoes that I saw to go with the purse because I just don't think it was a good financial decision <laughs> I, that's why I didn't get them I didn't think that that would be good <laughs> but they were on sale like regularly 150 79 like some pumps um you saw what they did with my last pumps I got at Aldo and these were also from Aldo um so, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to hold off on the hill thing until I figure out, find them where the malls are and stuff. And then actually go in and just find me a couple of basic, I just need basic like colors. A black pump, a nude pump, maybe a brown pump. You know, like I'm not trying to go crazy. I can't afford to go crazy. Um, and then, some pants. Oh shit, he was waiting for me to process that. Um, no, there's nothing else you can do for me. No, thank you. That's weird. So, I mean, this is so unfair. It don't matter, I got a backup plan. But you've seen that I easily use like anywhere from like 140 to 170 gigs a month. You know, and some of that, it, it's weird. Now that I think about it, I'm like, it, I, I feel like a lot of it had to do with uploads you know in the time that it took to process those like them just dragging it out and making it go extremely slow I feel like that was a contributor um, here at this location and I also feel like um, the home surveillance like I feel like that was being manipulated in a way but I do use a lot of internet And it's weird because I ain't always on it. Like right now I got the um, hotspot from the library, okay? And I've had it for two weeks. I was supposed to return it yesterday, but I called and I spoke with them about that. I'm going to pay the 50 cent late fee. 
it'll be two like a dollar fifty by the time I take it back. But I'm like if we look at what I've done on it, like it it would probably still be up there. Like I'm talking about at least in two weeks, like maybe fifty sixty. So uh I don't know. That's weird. Huh. That's something to think about. You know, it's like when you have an allotment of something, like you you kind of want to hone in on the use, like how things are being used. Because when I think 100 gigs, I'm thinking I'll, I'm going to, you know, it won't even allow me to go over. But I'm thinking, like, I'll, I'll max it out before the end of the month and then have to go days without. You know, So I'm like, where is <laughs> where is this use going? Is it, like, uploads? Is it what? You know, I only occasionally watch a movie. Speaking of a movie, I was watching Man on Fire. So, look, it's a two-hour, 25-minute movie. I'm 28 minutes in, and I did those 28 minutes in like two days. So I'm about to actually try to watch this movie. I haven't seen it in a really long time. 